having a guest at today guys and we're cutting firewood today and for those that have been following along there's a message in here stay tuned there are so many things that need to be done up here but there's not enough daylight to do it and now that we're in winter I just have to focus on keeping the house warm. If you're watching there, you see me sharpen the other saw. It hadn't been used in months, like literally. Could be close on a year. And the battery wasn't charged. So I went up to cut wood, and I only ended up with half a trailer load. But half a trailer load's better than nothing. Right, well that thing's warming up. I'm gonna give you a bit of an update on these sheep. The four original ewes, the ones that have previously given birth to lambs, are topped. The ram has done the trick on them. The other ones are still too young. Now, funny story, the guy I bought the five Suffolk rams off, lambs, he had two rams in with his 60 sheep. Now, his 60 sheep, he didn't put any keel on them and I told him that my five haven't been served yet and now he's worried that he's going to have a pile of lambs or, or not a pile of lambs next year <laughs> for all the farmers watching the channel I have a question for you the five Suffolk lambs hasn't really come together as one group they're still kind of separated look the originals and the suffix. They're like two different groups. What is the best thing to get them all together? Another thing is this solar panel. It's not really working out for me. Yes, it's in a, a shaded spot. The, the ideal spot is up there at that corner post. But it's, again, I don't know how to run the cable or what size of cable you have to run down to link it into that if it's up there it's in full sunlight all of the time nothing's going to shade it up there it's probably going to be more shaded i think the solar panel's still too small anyway the solar panel only produces 25 watts at best you would imagine if you have any experience with solar panels on 12 volt battery systems or just solar panels in general Give me a shout, let me know what you think. I would like to know what the best plan of attack is to keep the 12 volt battery charged year round. Right, these stumps, these old dead branches, I always used a hatchet at home or the last time I used my yoke that I bought for doing the hedges, bill hook can't find it. So I'm going to use the chainsaw this time. doing that we see this yoke in action this is the ticket I made this ages ago
bell hook with your little tailgate. Hey. Right, before we get into this, let me explain what this yoke's about here. These spacings are approximately a foot. They're about 10 inches or something. Can't remember. I looked for a tip, can't find one. The idea is, I think this is the safest way to cut firewood. Let me show you for why. Bump, 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 bump. You stack it into that rack and you forget about it until it's ready for the fire. Now, you see the spacing? It's 20 inches wide. It's actually just short 20 inches wide. It, because I had original, originally with this saw come a 20 inch bar. This here, one here, is an 18 inch bar. We bit more torque, but uh, we bit short for this yoke. <laughs> Squared one end all the same time. Too focused on making a YouTube video. I forgot to do that. Now, we still got to burn it off. So, let's get it in working good. I'm going to go sharpen this properly and then we'll cut it straight. Before we get into it, see the way it was pulling? One side was blunt. Looking at this chain, I think I hit, I think I might have hit the steel. If I did, I'll add it, if I can see it on the clip, but if the video running, I will add it in. I think I done damage there, after the first sharpening. This side here was all dented in. I would give the rakers a tickle. Now, if it doesn't work, it must be because it's camera shy. Come on, baby. Come on. originally set up to sell firewood during the, the uh, financial downturn 2008. Again, the other worker, we had too much time on our hands, this is how we were generating money.
think that chainsaw just wanted to make a liar out of me. Make a, or the whole setup wanted to make a fail out of me for lack of maintenance. Right guys, I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but I do know that the day is nearly gone. I started this morning, dropped the kids off at school quarter past eight. Now I'm on a day's holidays and I don't have very many holidays left until they're renewed in next this April. So dropped the kids off, went and got a load of timber because there was no coal, no stuff in the house. Went and got a load of logs. Uh, chain wasn't sharp, battery wasn't fully charged, cutting crooked, making a fool out of me trying to make a video, sheep breaking out, I'm tortured, I'm tortured, start to sound like a farmer eh? <laughs> right duck. You have probably seen enough to this to realise it does work with a good chain, a bit of patience. Load this with timber, what do you see? From here down to there, you're almost talking one square meter of cotton the whole way down when this is full of timber. It's a deadly job. It makes it real light work of firewood. See that owl on a bench? Move it, cut it, move it, cut it, move it, cut it. It's no good. It takes up way too much time. If you're gonna cut logs, make a quick rack like that with the chainsaw. Bang, 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 whatever length you want. Space it out to whatever length you want. Anyway, I've got wood chip. Haven't had time to start the thing. Garden, but we will. Guys, the ground is really wet. Because the pond is holding water really, really good. I, I think I said it before, I'm gonna come across here and go right across the wall and seal it so that It'll fill up fuller and it'll push the water out. I can control the level over at the drain like it was originally planned. It sort of went sideways because I didn't get finished. At the time, if you watched the building a pond video, building an eco pond video, I didn't, I forgot where the level was. Now I know, it's at the top of the block. Half two. Like two hours of daylight left. Guys, this is the thing that I've been looking to say to you. For all those that have been watching along, I really do appreciate it. Taking the time. It's very, very humbling. Keep watching. But for now, it's not going to happen for a bit because I go to work in the morning, it's dark. I come home in the evening, it's dark. And as you probably know, I'm driving lorries at the weekends. I call it the field fund. That's the money generated for, that I'm generating for here. Because the first job goes into the house. Guys, what else? That's it. No, it's not it. Guys, guys, the, the point I'm getting to with this conversation is that this is like the 25th or 26th of November. You're going to be watching it at the start of December and from that it'll be probably no more videos for a period of two months starting in around February again because there's just no time, no daylight, no time, can't make movies in the dark. I can't edit them when I'm in the truck but I have to have produced them to edit them. So on that note, happy Christmas and I'll see you in the field next year. Good luck.